Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I have something for you guys. A lot of you have asked me to review things that don't cost as much. You guys know I love to review everything here. Audio ranging from hundreds of dollars into the tens of thousands of dollars. It's more of my curiosity that I have and I'm sharing that with you. Um, and now that this channel is growing and growing and getting more views and likes and attention, I'm getting more manufacturers asking me if I would like to review their products. Uh, and one such manufacturer, Knob Sound, I think that's how you say it, wanted to send me their integrated amplifier. This is a hybrid design. It has four tubes and a class D amp. It has a DAC inside. It has several inputs. It has a VU meter. It looks like a little cube, pretty cool looking, and it's $180, $180. And when they asked me if I wanted to review it, I checked out the link and I was like, there's no way, there's no way this is going to sound good, but I have to put it in perspective, right? And I told myself, well, I'll get a pair of $300 speakers to test it with, and it might make a decent little system but I assumed and I was prejudging which I shouldn't do I assumed it was gonna be hissy flat sounding noisy you know just kinda not very good I, you guys know I'm used to some pretty um, snazzy audio gear but I also enjoy cheap audio gear I just invested in new speakers party speakers for outside I have a stereo set of party speakers that can jam out here for gatherings and the cost was like 80 bucks a piece and they sound phenomenal i love those for out here i'm not all about the expensive stuff so i said yes yeah, send me the uh, b100 amp i'll check it out if it's something worthy of talking about i will post a review if not i'll have to send it back so i received it a while ago it's been i've been messing with it and the first thing i did i wanted to put it to the test I took out my $20,000 retail, that's not what I paid because I bought it used, um, Avic U150 integrated amp. I placed in the $180 Knob Sound B100 and I was like, okay, let's see how bad this is. And I hooked it up to my Focal Diablos and the Alexandria Audio monitors. Uh, I used my Lumen U2 streamer and Weiss DAC 204. So the B100 was severely outclassed, but I wanted to know, could it scale up to that level of gear for 180 bucks? And I knew the answer was going to be no. I sat down, I turned the volume to about 11 a.m. and I just streamed Spotify and Tidal. And I couldn't believe what I heard, and I'm not kidding you guys. Um, it powered my system. Um, not as good as the Avic, of course, not as good as other exotic amps or the past labs or whatever, but I'll be darned if it didn't sound pretty damn good. And uh, it had a warmth to it. And Knob Sound says the unique tubes they use, which I'm gonna talk about that in a minute because that's a con, uh, produce a rich, warm sound. Um, and it does do that but it also has nice top end and it also has nice bass. There are negatives. Now there's a little hiss that I hear from more sensitive speakers, uh, but I heard that also in the Heaven 11 Billy uh, Mark II. Now I will say the Billy Mark II is a better integrated amp uh, without question. The knob sound is very light. Um, actually when I put my cables to it, it almost pops a wheelie because it's so light and it pulls that front end up and the back part down. Um, so it's not made to a super high standard, though someone on Amazon in the reviews took it apart and said there was uh, quality work done inside with quality parts, especially considering the price point. Um, one of the negatives that people point out are the tubes. Um, these are supposedly from the 40s. It's what I think it says on the, the description on Amazon. So there's four of these vintage tubes and you cannot find these tubes anywhere online or anywhere in general. It's a super rare tube. 
but Nobson says if you need replacement tubes, they have them and you just have to contact them. But a tube like this should last you many, many years of operation. If you get eight years out of this amp, think about it, and you paid $180, even if you don't get the new tubes and you just toss it or put it on the shelf for a decoration, it would have been well worth the money. So this little integrated amp really did surprise me. Um, after I had it in the reference system for a few days and I was listening, I just missed the remote. There's no remote with this. Um, and it wasn't the most refined sound, right? It's not going to compete against $10,000 amplifiers, but it's hanging in there with some $1,500 integrated. I'm turning over Plus, it looks pretty cool. The VU meter lights up bright. It dances to the music. The tubes light up artificially. There's an LED under each tube but it makes for a nice light show. Overall, the sound is somewhat rich. Uh, it's holographic, it images well. Uh, it, was, it was blowing my mind. The bass is really good. The mid-range is smooth and buttery and warm, and the top end brings just enough detail and a little bit of sparkle. $180, yes, it's made in China, but the cool thing is you can get it on Amazon via Prime, if it's not to your liking, send it back and get a refund. That's what I always say because you can't demo a piece like this at a dealer. No dealer is going to carry a $180 integrated amp. But this amp showed me once again and validated to me once again, you don't have to spend thousands of dollars to have good sound. Um, there's even a little bit of magic in here. But keep in mind, I'm going to tell you a little bit more. The magic that I was hearing was when using it with the Lumen U2, with the Y-Stack 204, with the speakers I have here. And I have to say, it did really well with the Alexandria audio monitors I just reviewed. I'm really falling more and more in love with these speakers because they have that soul, that warmth, that beauty, that massive holographic soundstage. They just have a little more warmth than the Focal Diablos, which have a little more air and transparency, so pick your poison, right? But this little amp did well. Those speakers, I think, are 91 dB efficient. This amp only puts out 25, I think, 25 or 30 watts per channel, um, but it had no problem driving either of the speakers I have here. I then hooked it up to some Emotiva uh, bookshelves that I reviewed a year or two ago, and it did amazing with those. They were punchy, they were kicking. I was thinking about putting that outside as a party system um, because it didn't have any problem. And inside the house, there was a little bit of magic there as well. So you could buy speakers that are 300 bucks, buy this amp for 180, buy some $20 speaker cables, and I'll put some suggestions, links in the description below of what I would pair with it. Um, and you can have yourself a really cool little system that looks cool as well for under $500. So this is for all of you who wanted me to review something way more affordable, um, but I, I'm not gonna review affordable things if they don't sound good. So when this came in and it sounded so good and it had a really cool appearance, I said, this needs to be reviewed. People need to know about this. Not everybody has a ton of money to spend on audio or stereo, you know. Um, this is not for audiophiles. This is not for people who are very picky, who want the last bit of transparency, that, you know, Windexed glass pane that you're seeing through. Um, this is more for if you love music, it's going to sound way better than a boombox or a Bluetooth speaker. If you just hook it up to speakers that are two, three hundred bucks. So, um, yeah, the knob sound B100 is actually very good. Um, for 180 bucks, you're not going to find any integrated amp that looks as cool or sounds as cool or good, I should say. And I guarantee that there's nothing out there that, that's going to best this at this price point. So this is for all of you looking for an amp integrated with a DAC. You can also stream Bluetooth to it. It has a subwoofer out, right? Um, I think it has two inputs uh, plus the Bluetooth streaming. Uh, very, very cool. I did stream Bluetooth to it and avoided my DACs when I hooked up the Emotivas. The sound's a little thinner, a little flatter, of course. It doesn't quite um, have that, wow, this is $180 because I believe the supporting gear, you know, every piece in your system adds up to make one complete musical picture. Uh, you could even pair this with some Klipsch bookshelf speakers. 
Um, I don't know if I'd pair it with something like the Klipsch Heritage series. Those are really, really highly sensitive speakers and you might get a little more hiss. So this is not a dead silent amp. There's a little bit of hiss that comes from the speakers, but I've heard that in other amps in the thousand to two thousand dollar range. Nothing new there. Um, pretty cool little amp. So affordable and really really good well worth 180 bucks and it's on amazon prime i'll put a link in the description below if you're interested and uh, i'll see you in the next one bye